kami, ano, as long as yun nga, may taong nanonood sa amin, may sumasuporta, and as long as we can sing, we can dance on stage, we will continue doing that, no matter what happens. Hello once again, Jay Agone, we keep sakes right here at Robinson's Galleria Ortigas for another panel discussion as part of Naruto Today. Last time, we talked about how the Naruto series, the series as a whole, made a huge effect on the panelists whom we had yesterday. And by this time, released na po siya sa YouTube. On the second panel, we have Idol Culture. Yes, local Idol Culture po tayo. We have here our guests. Once again, from Hello Project Philippines, it's Polly V, Rika, and the idol duo Rising from the Stars, Rajan. We will be asking them questions that have been prepared for them in advance. First and foremost, we'll start with Rika. How did you start doing your kumbaga, idol career? Paano ka nagsimula? Actually, my idol career, nag-start talaga siya sa ate ko. My sister, which is, uh, kung alam nyo, yung Polly B is consists of three siblings, yes. which is magkakapatid talaga kami in blood. In blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kasi meron sisters in, ano eh. Ano yung sister in? Ano sisters in faith? Another mother. Tama sister ka from Jesus. another mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're sisters in blood. Yan. Uh -huh. Dugot buto, char. <laughs> Tapos, ano nangyayari talaga? Yung ate ka talaga siya yung uh, nagka-cosplay community. And then, oh. nasali siya dun sa group ng Hello Project. Which is, oh. uh, she was invited. Okay. And then, what happened is, my partner talaga siya. Like, duo sila. Okay. And then, ayun, siguro, it's meant for us. Hindi nakatuloy yung partner niya. Mm -hmm. Kinawa kami kapatid. Okay. So, dun po nabuo yung, ano, yung polity, yung okay. group namin. Dun talaga siya nag-start. Then, syempre, ate. O, oh, sige. Go, konong trip ni ate. Sama tayo. <laughs> and, uh, nice, nice naman. So, okay, let's move on to Rajat. How did you start? Um, before we were idols, we were actually cosplayers that started out 2015. But due to the anime and the idol culture being introduced in the Philippines, we, we, we really tried to be an idol and now we're here. <laughs> mm. Actually, we were formed last April 2022. But we couldn't push through due to the pandemic and some personal constraints. Okay. So, but, ayun. Uh, for so far, we're still on our way. We're on our journey. Journey, uh, we're on our journey on the way to, you know, rising to the top, like our slogan. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, moving back to you, ano, pahabo lang na question. You mentioned cosplaying, so ha you haven't had cosplay before Polly B. Yes, we had. You had? You had. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, and a uh, fan fact, actually, is yung mother namin, nagtatagi siya. So, madali lang yung costume namin. Like, ipakita mo lang kay mother. Kaya niya nang gawin. So, ganun oh, ka yung mother. Okay. Flex ka lang yung mother ko. Asa ba yung mama ko dyan? Kasi mami. Ayan, nandiyan si mother Kasi... naka Nezuko. Asa ba siya? May nakita pa kay Nezuko dyan na mama. <laughs> mother na si Nezuko. Kasi mami. Uh -oh. Hi, mami. Uh -oh. Kasi uh -oh. So, bale, yung mom nyo is sastre. Yes. Sastre talaga. Two and two. Kaya nakakapag-cosplay kami. Alright, okay. So, for Regian, uh, I haven't asked about yung, ano, yung cosplay mo at that time. Sino yung cosplay mo? Yung una mong cosplay? Do you still remember? Yung nakauna kong na cosplay. Actually, yung may character na kilala, ha? Kasi may, may cosplay kasi na, basta, ma, ano lang, parang mukhang fire rate. Pwede na yun, di ba? Uh -oh. Masaya na tayo ng cosplay yung kilala, yung kilala, yes. yung kilala yun si, ano, Asuna. Asuna from Sorry yes, Online? Yes, okay, talaga. Nice. Like, may, ano, gawa lang talaga na, hindi yung, syempre yung nabibili, mahal kasi yun, eh. Yes, so, uh -oh. your own talaga. Uh -oh. Pero, which is, I'm so proud dahil, character talaga siya nakilala. So, uh -oh. yung tinatawag ka na, Asuna, Asuna, huwag yes. ako yun. Ganun. <laughs> Okay, yeah, ah, si Asa na po, ng Sword Art Online. Thank you very much. Rajan, sige. You mentioned you were cosplayers since 2015. Do you still remember the first cosplays that you had? Uh, the first cosplay character I had was Yuno Gasai. Ay, naku, na, napagahalata yung age natin dito sa mga Yuno anime Gasai. na napapanood. Ano, no? Tita <laughs> na to? Asa na si Yuno. <laughs> Matik, tita na to? Uh -uh. Yes, and you? So actually, I didn't start going to cons until 2019. But my very first cosplay was yung sa bahay lang. So parang... Cosplay? Uh -huh. uh, like closet cosplay yes. as a child. Uh -huh. I think yung ano, the little girl from Mad Father. Yo, like ano siya, game. Okay guys, alam ko matanda na. <laughs> uh, Mad Father. Hindi ko alam yan. Ibig sabihin, uh, may kulang ako sa recent memory. Sige. That's unique. That's rare. Sige. Thank you very much for that. So, okay. Back to Rika. What drove you to, to continue pursuing this? Kasi ngayon, you're a solo performer at the moment. 
So you had a band or supposedly Hindi naman po siya solo more on marami akong groups na kasama. Uh, yes. Yes. Pero how did you end up marami kang groups? Ah, uh, na masyado akong na-engage sa Japanese culture. Like mm. I did kasi uh, gusto ko talaga makasama sa band. Okay. Kaya yun, inaya ako. Then, wow, thank you. Then, another thing is yung... Actually, mayroon kami recent ngayon, yung sa Hoshizora, if you're familiar. Hoshizora I'm also ng... one of cover okay. group ng Liela. Kasama si Sis? Yes. Kasama si Sis? Yes. Okay. Since si Sis is kasama din namin sa Hello Project, and then, yes. naaya niya kami na Polydi. Nandun kami. Yun nga eh. I missed, I missed yung performance sa, ano, sa BOA. I had a photo of every one of you, yes. pero I missed it eh. Even nung Otako Musika, I also missed yes, it eh. Yes, kami. Grabe. <laughs> Um, yun na, na at least na mention mo na kung paano, kung saan saan ka na pupunta. Kagaya yes. namin ni Choji TV kahapon, kung saan saan kami yung convention na pupunta. Oh. So, saan may opportunity doon tayo, di ba? Yun tayo. Push eh. lang, oh, oh. Push. bata pa. Bata pa naman, di ba? Bata pa, young. <laughs> hindi mo inamin na tita ka na? <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Walang tita dito. Kapag idol ka, hindi ka tita. <laughs> Still young. <laughs> Ayan tayo. Alright, sige. Going to Raja. Sige, I'll, I'll ask this question, ano? You took this journey. Sinong inspiration niyo? Anong inspiration niyo? Uh, actually, since bata pa ako, nat- nakikita ko sa uh, music TV, sa TV ng dati, pag may channel kayo, nakikita yung mga idol groups, may K-pop, may J-pop. J-pop. Tapos doon ko nakilala yung AKB sa TV talaga. Oh. Tapos nakuka ko sa Japanese culture and doon talaga siya nag-start na gusto ko maging idol, na dream kong kumanta, uh-uh. na ganun yung trabaho nila. Ganun. Sige, how about you, Sai? So, ako, my journey started, actually, not sa IRL, IRL Idols. I was really, really into Vocaloid. So, yung dream ko po talaga is maging computer program na kumakanta. <laughs> But, I've been inspired by Vocaloid, you know, like Project Diva, the, the games. I've been inspired na I want to emulate that on stage. So, you know, my idol is... Really, Hatsune Miku, so I want to be Miku on stage, or at least embody who Miku is. Allow me to clarify that. You said you want to be a Vocaloid, not an Utaite. Yes, I don't want to be an Utaite. I wanted to be a Vocaloid. I wanted to be Miku. <laughs> okay. With the current technology that we have nowadays, madali ng kopyahin, machine learned ang bosses ng tao. So you have to be aware, baka madifake kayo. Right? Yun, yun nga lang, yun yung, yun yung, of course, I'm on the ano, cautious side of things. Pero of course, hindi, hindi naman imposible na you can make your own songs na synthesized. So, the technology nowadays is pretty much interesting. We've had recent matters already. Ito, this is under wraps. Pero, I do remember a clip from the K-pop scene na Girls' Generation. Girls' Generation. You already know Girls' Generation, right? Binabasto sila ng audience, harap-harapan. That was, that was ano, yun yung kwento sa Facebook video. I saw it on a video on Facebook. Binabasto sila harap-harapan. So, the question at hand here is, how do you deal with criticisms of any kind? I'll start with you, Rika. Yan, uh, sa part ng criticism is, sa aming magkakapatid kasi, so, sabi nila natin, nandun natin sa tita era. So, pag talaga ng uh, mga idol events, may mga mas bata talaga. And then, parang pag nakikita is, ay, parang tatanda lang na naman nagpa-perform. Nakaka-hurt siya, pero at the same time, as long as, mahandal namin siya inaway na, as long as may nag-cheer for us, and still excited to see us, and then talagang, ayun, masayang-masayang sa nagpa-perform kami. Happy sila masyado, ganun. Yun yung nag, uh, nagpapaano sa amin na, go lang ng go. Kasi hindi naman, yung ano eh, hindi naman para dun sa mga taong walang pakailan, na, pinapakita yung uh, talent namin. Dun sa mga may gusto. At so, as, Uh, as long as masaya sila, we'll keep going on. Yeah. Hey, Yumi. Actually, same statement lang that. Kasi we all know na sa age din, ganun. Marami prefer din talaga yung mas younger. Pero kami, ano, as long as yun nga, may taong nanonood sa amin, may sumasuporta. And as long as we can sing, we can dance on stage, we will continue doing that no matter what happens. Ayos. Na- inside. So, ako naman, yung way na pag-deal ko sa criticism is, ako kasi, I grew up with, ano, directa yung criticism sa akin ng family ko. So, we, actually, ano kasi, it's to condition me. Like, 
It's to condition me na when I'm on stage, kahit anong sabihin sa akin ng tao, wala yan. Kasi what, imp- what matters most is yung sasabihin nila kasi sa ibang tao. So, literal na on stage, sige, ngiti-ngiti. Tapos pag uwi, Oo. There are, do, 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 yun yung isa sa mga challenges on performing on stage, especially on this community. And the reality is, as far, of course, from a fan perspective, there will be fans who will be saying na, despite everyone's efforts, kung baga parang real na real na yung effort mo, pero bakit parang kulang pa rin? Right? Oo. Now, think of that as I ask the next question. What are the bigger challenges which you have faced or you are facing at the moment in this community? Let's start with Yurika. Siguro sa part ng uh, idol group, na yun nga yung idol group, siguro yung money. money Napakalaki talaga ng money. Uh-oh. And also, uh, since diba may other group din ako, which is Hajitsura, mm-hmm. I think the time management din ng bawat isa. Yun yung pinaka, uh, isa din sa pinaka nahihirapan or challenging talaga para sa amin. Kasi, mm-hmm. mahirap talaga, lalo na pag malaking grupo. Like, Uh-oh. Hajitsura is uh, composed of nine members. And then the practice, like, hindi siya available, hindi available. So, napakahirap siya na, kahit sabihin mo kasi yung own practice sa bahay, tapos pag magsasama-sama kayo na hindi kayo nakapag-practice, hindi enough. Black pa rin, blacking pa rin. Oo, iba pa rin talaga kapag buo eh. So, yun yung pinaka, no? And then, yun nga, money. Kaya, as long as may magagawa kaming ways, like, paano kami makakagawa ng costumes na makakamura, which is with the help of my mother. Ayan na si Nezo ko. <laughs> Ayan, dinulungan kami, ganun. Yun, nakakano talaga kami. Makakapag-push forward. As long as, that's our dream. As long as, talagang gusto mo mag-perform, gagawa na gagawa ng paraan. So, yun yung mga challenges. I see. Sige, you mean? Uh, yun nga. Uh, isa sa biggest challenge or struggle that we have is time management. Um, of course, we are idols, but on another, another hand, we are also uh, students. Uh, we are also full-time workers po on our companies. So we really have to allot our time, money, effort, and everything for this po. So that's our biggest... Uh, okay, and time? To add on to ano, ko ano yung sinabi ni Yumi, yeah, scheduling is really hard din kasi there are days na available si Yumi, ako hindi. Kasi may commitments ako sa school. And sometimes si Yumi, available ako this day but she has work. Like last night nga actually, I slept 2am kasi I had to come home from a 7pm class. So may ginawa pa akong... Uh, 9 p.m. na deadline na paper. So, really, really, afterwards, talaga, yung work-life balance is really, really hard as an idol. But kung gusto mo talaga, gagawin mo. All for your passion. It's 9 p.m. term paper. So, school work pa lang yan. Alright, with that in mind, uh, thank you for letting us know about the schedules. Uh, yes, to, to recap lang, ano, time, money, attendance. Especially attendance and blocking. How do you memorize your... Ano? Kasi, admi- I, we admit it. Performing is not an easy task. Performing on stage, kikita mo yan. Parang ano, uh, oftentimes, kung hindi, kung hindi ka talaga nasanay sa stage, makikita mo yan, hahabuli ka lang yan ng ano eh. Kung baga parang they will react badly, right? O kung ano na, kung sanay ka naman sa stage, edi katulad ni Sai, pakiko. May mag-enjoy sa inyo, may mga hindi mag-enjoy sa inyo, may tutulugan kayo, may mag-enjoy, magtatalon sa ano. So, ano yung ano? How do you keep yourself motivated? Yes, how to keep myself motivated. Actually, the more na, parang nagulat din ako eh, na nagkakaroon din na dumadami yung kakilala ko. Like, lilingon ako dito, ayan, nakikilala ko sila. Ito, may mga kilala ako. Yun yung nakikip, uh, and that keeps me motivated actually. Na nakakapag-inspire din ako ng ibang tao. Like the other cosplayers, gusto na rin nila mag-cosplay na, Uy, paano ba mag-cosplay? Ganun, ganun. Paano ba maging idol? Nakakapag-inspire ka ng tao. That's what keeps me motivated. Yun talaga yun. Okay, sige. You mean? Um, Say with that, syempre, nakilala ko yung mga idols ko ng AKB, mga Morning Musume. Gusto ko rin maging inspiration sa ibang tao. Especially sa mga mga bata na na-amaze sa amin na, wow, idols! Gusto ko rin maging ganyan. And I wanna show them na anything is possible. Like, look at me! I'm, I'm an introvert. I don't have anything. I don't have so much friends. Pero I'm here performing, doing my best, singing. Yun lang. Okay, and Sai? So ako siguro, parang, 
you remember why you started. Yun yung motivation mo kung bakit ka ba talaga nandito, bakit tayo lahat nandito. Siyempre, you remember kung ano yung nagpagana sa'yo sa simula. And if you want, if you still want to achieve that goal. And siyempre, parang gusto ko mag-perform, pakailan nyo ba? <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, she said, pakiko. <laughs> oh, alright. So, okay. Ito na tayo. Last question na tayo sa listahan natin. So, what should we look forward to in your next events? Rika, for you, for Hoshizora, for Polybe, saan ka namin makikita next? Sa ano, voice actor, GRC project. <laughs> hindi, ano? hindi lang doon nagtatapos eh. Like, merong band, merong idol group, may cover group, merong voice actor, ano pa, name it, char, <laughs> and cosplay. <laughs> may bonus ako question mamaya, sige. <laughs> yes. Uh, anong next? Ano ba ang pinaka-recent? Um... Uh, next month, actually we have, or I mean, the end of this month, we have, uh, and invite kami as Yomari na masumama din sa isang band na nagpapromote ng single nila. And then, since it's a hand-picked band, napili yung Yomari, which is, wow, talaga napili yung Yomari. So, yun, yun yung magiging uh, next event naman, which is the Yomari band. Dahil talagang pinoproduce namin yung mga original songs naman, which is, we're on the second album na. Uh, and planning this uh, this year na ma-promote na rin yung songs na yan. Okay. And more to go. Sige. So, actually, ang next event namin is in November. And, um, wait lang, hinahanap ko po kasi yung event head. Okay lang bang sabihin na? Okay. Kasi hindi pa kami na-announce, but... Hindi pa na, alam na. But, so, ito, special. Ayan. O, are... ano, first on, ano, first to, ilalabas natin to sa, ano, socials natin. Bago sila. <laughs> so, go ahead, go ahead. So, without further ado, we will be also guessing and judging sa Watagi Tyson Volume 2. Woo! Kailan ulit November? Nove November. 26. <laughs> Sorry po. Excuse me po, kailan po? November 26. November 26. So, Watagay Tyson on November 26. Okay, sige. Check Watagay Pilipinas on Facebook for more details. Alright, bonus question kanina. Rika, how do you sustain yourself? Kasi we talk about sustainability, di ba? Grabe. The sustainable development goals. Yes, ayun nga, dahil nga napakadami. Like one time, share ko lang ng konti. Noong Chendisitas, ah, Otom uh, Otako Musica Festival. Uh -huh. Nag-perform ako ng ilang beses? Dalawa. Dalawa, which is yung GRC Project and then yung Hoshizora. Okay. At the same time, on that morning, galing ako sa shoot ng Mugyoto version ng Love Life na okay. <laughs> grabe talaga. As in... Uh, Workaholic ka pa. Work ka well, wait, wait pa. na. Uh, yung sa partner is thankful talaga ako sa partner ko, which is my motor. Uh -huh. Madali ang service. Ayun. Yun yung siguro yung nakakapag-help sa akin na mapuntahan ko yung lahat ng bagay nun. Kasi kung wala akong, ano, wala akong service na ganun, Baka, alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, traffic is everywhere. So, hindi ko magagawa yan. So, that what make it impossible. Sorry, nagmomotor ka? Hindi, uh, hinatid ako ng partner ko. Ka. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ayun. Alright. Sige, si Sai. Ano? Si Sai? How do you sustain yourself as a group? As a duo? Um, it's all, it's all, ano, like all relationships, communication is key. <laughs> so, um, Siyempre, laging we communicate everything to each other na parang, oh, we can't make it on this day, anong pwedeng gawin para ma-remedy? Or parang, yung song na to gusto ko sana, pero hindi gusto ng isa. So we have to find a middle ground to sustain ourselves. And you know, yun nga talaga. Eh, usually naman kasi, in sync yung brains namin, so no problem naman. Shared brain cells ba? Ayos. So, to cap off this whole conversation, we only have a few minutes left. Thank you very much, Regent and uh, Rika. Baka masabi ko si Raze, ah. <laughs> Di nga. O nga, wala, no? <laughs> Alright, okay. So, to sum up everything, again, we discussed the idol community. These ladies have shared their insights on uh, their experiences, the challenges they face the satisfaction they get from performing on stage. And, of course, if you, ah, uh, kung, siguro we want to level up, ano, aside from the idol community, kasi, simu, ano, if, it's a path. Kung gusto talaga, ano, if you really want to level up the performance, 
you may take like such things like workshops ba or anything no mga workshops well i do recommend theater theater talaga wala ano ta pag talagang theater it's patayan talaga doon theater talaga patayan wow well, uh, you would know you would know ayun so theater production there are several aspects of uh, producing content with these talents talent management at hand so with that said, my name is Jay Agonoy and this has been Keepsakes. Like, share, subscribe, Rajant on Facebook, Polly B on Facebook as well. And that ends the video. Thank you very much.